We use things like a Y strainer and a pressure regulator. And the reason we do that is because this is the proper way to do it. I mean, a lot of people don't use these, but this 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 strains your your line so you don't get emitters that are clogged. And this, of course, regulates your pressure so you don't pop the emitters off due to high pressure. You know, if there's ever a surge in the pressure. Using some Teflon tape because of the type of fittings that these are. They're PVC, mm -hmm. polyvinyl chloride fittings. This is a hose, brass hose thread to pipe thread. That's important. So this goes to a hose fitting and then to a pipe uh, pipe thread on the other side. And it's important you use brass too because all the plastic ones tend to leak. Change the batteries out about once a year. It's not too bad, but the reason we do that is because without fail people go on vacation and out of town and stuff and they always tell me oh we'll water it by hand but mm -hmm. the reality of the situation is is that they never water it by hand and sometimes it dies and so we just like to make sure that it's kind of guaranteed that we know it's going to get watered you know so again summarize uh, this is the battery operated timer this is the Y strainer and this is the pressure regulator and uh, We'll set this clock later on, and we'll show you how to set the clock later on. It's really pretty simple. So.